Let's continue with the transmission. I have reached at this point that usually I'm full of transmission fluid or full of petrol. But now I'm clean. What I have done up to now? I have changed the seals. All right, I'm still waiting the clutches. I have I need the old clutches as a reference to see the, the, the thickness. That's why I'm keeping it all the time. I need to check the solenoids, the resistance, and I have to change the O-rings. Classic, like any other time. Uh, some other parts here have the oil pan here. Mr. Derek, he washed it for me. I put the new seal here. I have changed the two O-rings here. I have changed the seals here, 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 and there. And the new needle bearing that there is no opening. This is from a 7.9. I have mentioned this for a million times. Uh, on the oil pump, I have put the new seal here around, but standing by, I haven't changed the front seal for two reasons. First, it looks like a new one. Uh, second, they didn't tell me if we put the needle bearing pump or we're going to use again this one. I have no clue about that. That's why I'm standing by, and that's why I have the seal here. Okay, yeah, you see what I haven't done yet? I haven't washed the housing. Yay, lovely. Second, the housing is still there. Over there. Here outside, I have the seal, contactor plate, seals, more seals, the needle bearing, the one with the gap, the output, um, oh boy, the output shaft seal, yeah, other seals here, this not for now, later on, this back to the owner, when they come also the, the clutches, like any other time, all together in a box, to return back to the owner. Then, Continue with the valve housing here. I'll show you here, just a second. I have the steel bolts, steel bolts, sorry, what bolts, bolts, bolts are here, yeah. The plastic one, okay, here. The check valve here and the screen, like any other time. Here I have the uh, overlap orange sleeve for the first, second, fourth and fifth gear, that's this one. Okay, this is for the third and the fourth, this one, and this is the second and third, okay? Staying here, it shows to you where it goes, just don't make any mistake. You cannot make a mistake because it's different size, the inner diameter, but just in case, better to have it here. I'm not doing it out of memory, I'm following the book and the instructions to have a peace of mind. It's not, even if I have done this hundred times, I prefer to use the book for a torque specs, for a clearance, for everything to be okay. Now, valve housing. I don't have to mention that also the drums they have inside sluts, classic, okay? Just I want to show you how it looks like here before I wash it, okay? That's how it looks like. This is how it looks like. And this is normal in all of them, okay? I have removed the steel bolts, the steel bolts, the plastic bolts that check valve and the screens. So I can make this now to empty the fluid. And now if you pay attention, there are some spots that are completely disaster inside, like this one. That has stuck some sluts inside. So, like here, as an example. In any case, now, as it is, I'm passing it through the petrol, I'm blowing with air, and then I'm removing everything, I'm stripping it off, and I'm leaving the housing uh, empty, completely empty. I'm cleaning very well, and after washing it, I'm wearing gloves on a nylon, placing here or placing here on this table, I'm we'll, we'll going to see where I'm going to place it, because when I'm closing it, I want to be spotless. I don't want to have dust, I don't want to have nothing. I'm coming crazy with that, especially when it comes the time to close it. I want to be, like I said, spotless. Don't have nothing. Don't have nothing on the surface. Don't have nothing on this plate. Okay. Yeah. If it dry, it's not going to come out. This is like any other time. A little bit careful when I'm removing the solenoids from inside. I don't want to scratch it. I don't want to create any scratch, any scoring. It's not good because it's coated. Like here for the gear selector, you see that the spotless does have a single mark. When it has fluid inside, you take it out gently and everybody happy. 
if you force it or if it doesn't have a fluid, if you have passed it through the petrol and then you force it somehow, you're not going to have a happy end. You're going to scratch it. Either you're going to scratch the housing or the solenoid, the valve itself. Classic. I don't remember if I mentioned I have to measure it with a multimeter, the resistance of each solenoid. I need also the O-rings. I don't have the O-rings. And I don't have more things. Now, I'm not going to upload the video. I'm going to wash it first to show you how it looks like. And then I will going to... Mm, uh -huh, uh -huh. See that? Yay, Nutella. Take a look. Yep, yep. Classic. I have at least another 10 videos like this video. Yay. Yeah. And I have at least another 20 cars that they're not running on a red fluid with a 72.6 transmission. I have mentioned that before. I'm not using the red one anymore. There is an announcement since 2010 to don't use the red the 236.14 to use the 236.15 if you find it then think about using the new generation fluid yeah stop talking start working right yeah now first was to be able to remove the solenoids you see it's still wet the solenoids inside they're not dry okay a4 sheet on the left on the right the book now the valve housing here, if you see, you see where's the notes, where's the, going the gear selector inside. Here it's with this way, all right. Marker, removing it, placing it here, one by one, and then washing it and bring it again inside to mount it back again as it was. And at the same time, I'm gonna change also the uh, orange sleeved since I'm gonna open it one time to don't have any headache the steel plate is here need to be washed again on the final assembly i'm wearing gloves i'm not wearing i'm not uh, like that i'm just wearing my gloves and i'm using the stainless steel table you can tell me why you are not using now the stainless steel table because this one has inclination inside so if there is any fluid to go there to don't come to me this table it's flush it's straight it's much better to don't start rolling the solenoids. Yay, the valves. Yeah. Moving on. Solenoids out. Okay. In order. I went by the book. Just double check that's okay. There is a but. There is but. Usually, I'm using these leaves by Sonax. Okay. It comes with instructions, it comes with the paper. One second, turn off this light, maybe it's better. Yeah, it comes with the paper, it comes with instructions. Okay, they're making also different companies. Now, this time, they brought me the sleeves in this kind of nylon bag, just like that. And I'm a little bit suspicious, and I have to double check it, triple check it, actually. Now, what I notice, this piston, this valve, on the original sleeve, it has a tight clearance. It has, a, you don't feel where I'm pointing. Dang it. You don't feel any movement here when you're putting inside. It's very minimum, the clearance. All right. So if I get now the sleeve with the o-ring and I try to do the same thing, it's playing. It's, I don't know if you're going to see on the camera. But it's playing a lot. It's leaving enough space all around. You cannot mix it up. Just saying, because I mentioned that earlier. Just a second. It has different dimensions, each valve. And I check this one, and then I came here and I check the same thing on that one. And also this one, it has a stupid amount of clearance. Yep. Yeah, it doesn't have an inclination, eh? Yeah, lovely. Tassos. Stay there. So, if you put it inside, just by hand, it's completely different than here. Uh, 
I'm not feeling comfortable using this. I mean, okay, you're gonna seal it here, but you're gonna escape the fluid all around, right? W what's the point? <laughs> well, <laughs> one, one minute. Let me put a stand on the phone to show you a little bit better, because I don't know if you if you if you saw it properly what I'm saying about the clearance. Okay, let's try now that again. So I'm putting inside on the original sleeve the piston, the valve, right? And if I move it up and down, it has minimum. You can get a reference from the line. You can see this line, the first line to the sleeve, and you see that it's barely moving. It's very tight, the clearance. Very tight. It's how it's supposed to be. Now, if I get the aftermarket one and I put it inside, it has much more clearance. And what I was saying earlier, you're trying to seal it properly, you're trying to seal it better, and you have an o-ring here, but inside, you have it playing like that. Let's, like this, it's more visible, more easy to understand what I'm saying. This has a double. This one, this one has a double clearance down. The other one, <clears throat> and the same thing. So let's see. Let's see this one. <laughs> I can measure it measure it to see exactly how much it is the difference it's not right for me at least to meet my eyes it's, I mean it can be much better to keep the old one on than to use this that's my opinion and I'm gonna measure just because now you're gonna tell me what's your reference status. One second to put it here. Okay. Turbulence. Yeah, get used to it. Uh, let me get some measurements. Just for my curiosity. To see the difference. Carefully without hurting it. Because aluminium. But again, to me it's not right. This or this is not right. Okay, the other one I haven't checked it yes, yet. Uh, later on, why that I have misfire today? I don't know. But this and this, it's not right. That's from my side. Let let me get the measurement. I was right. I was right. In this case here, the OEM, it's 10.282. This one's 10.336. It's 500 of millimeter greater. A little bit more than 500, right? Yeah, a little bit more than 500 millimeter. And now this one, this is one ten of millimeter. If not one ten, sorry, half. Yeah, 500, 500 millimeter. Point, uh, point nine one four three four. four yeah, 400 millimeter. This greater by 400 millimeter. This greater by 500 millimeter. I don't want to use that. Hmm, yeah, I don't want to use this. Lovely. It's not about. It's not about that you have a big chunk of aluminium and you have a piston inside and you have a clearance. It's it's small one. I don't know what kind of effect we're gonna have on the shifting. Honestly, 
And I, I saw the difference. I make the test all the time. With Sonax, I never had any problem. Now with this one, I don't know what brand is that. I have no clue what, what brand is that. I don't know. Yeah. It is what it is, right? Let's ask at the office to see from where they get it. And if, they, if anybody else have installed this one successfully, we can find out, right? <laughs> okay, now, now they, ca they came from the office and they said to me, okay, measure also this one. It, it's exactly the same. These sleeves are exactly the same, like these sleeves, because it was in the same bag. They brought me two sets. And they told me now that they order from Sonax, the original one. That's what they said. We will go and see the difference. There was one case before, they brought me sleeve that was not entering inside. It, you're not going to be able to put it here inside. Okay, this has also more clearance. Usually it's more tight, even here. It's not, it's not like that, but eh, okay, all right. Forget about that. So one time they brought me, one friend of mine, he brought me some sleeves that it was oversized and cannot enter inside. I measured the time and yes, it was an oversized. Uh, but in any case, always I'm doing the simple test. I'm just getting in my hand this one and the sleeve, the piece on the sleeve, and I'm checking the clearance. If it's way off, you're gonna feel it direct because you have a reference, even without measuring. Now I measure it just to be correct that it has more clearance this than this. When it comes from Sonax, we're gonna see the difference. That's also for my curiosity. Now, let's put the rest to don't be out. I don't want to stay out. All right. And standing by for that. Yeah. Okay, finish with the upper valve housing, a valve body, all right. Finish for now. I'm gonna visit that again when it comes the sleeves from Sonax because I might be wrong I might make make mistake you know you never know maybe I don't remember right I'll go and double check now I have the measurement for that I have also this as a reference I have plenty of the stock one okay and I have also the one that's wearing this body so there is no problem because this is the last thing what I'm doing what I mean by that exactly what I said. I mean, I have to continue with the clutches whenever they're going to bring it to me. I can continue with the lower valve body. Okay, also on this one, I have to change it. The Where is it now? Dang it! It's here. One second to see on the paper. I don't remember. Out of memory. This is... It's from this side. Okay. The notes it's there. So it means from this side. Yeah. So again, I'm gonna check this. I'm gonna check also the other one. First, second, fourth, fifth, the orange sleeve. Just in case. You never know. I'm gonna write also these numbers since I have the, um, the numbers from the other two. Yeah. Well, like I said, we will gonna see. To me, it looks like it's better to use the OEM, the one that's wearing, than to use this that has extra clearance. I might be wrong. When it comes the good stuff, the certified stuff, and not this one, I'll go and double check. Maybe it's okay. Right? That's it for now. Because it's late, and I don't want to, uh, to do something that when I'm late and I have to leave, I'm going to continue tomorrow. Okay. Okay, clutch is all in all. It's like I said, need to be checked. We are okay here. I wrap it already. I have it ready. It's beautiful, nice and clean. Completely dry, carefully inside the solenoids, like any other time. Before I close it, I'm putting a little bit of, uh, with the strings, a little bit of transmission fluid. So when it starts running, it don't run dry. We don't have any headache. Nothing more, nothing less. Tomorrow. Let's see tomorrow what I'm going to receive. I hope that I'm going to see the clutch at least. To continue with the drums to, um, to check the clearance. To verify that's correct. The thickness and the clearance. Yeah, 
and I still didn't clean, I didn't finalize the housing. I still have it there out. How dumb you are, Tassos, right? Yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll go and watch tomorrow, not today. Screw it today. Forget it. Yay, lovely. Thank you very much. Over and out. Have a good night.